Howdy, it's Hunter here. I am going to do a makeup section of the Caldera North 250, aka 500. This segment I did at night, so I didn't get to really see it. Very difficult, but very scenic. This part, we start climbing about five miles up this semi-steep dirt road that goes out in the distance. You can see some of the beautiful scenery. The course loaded up on my Garmin 530. Oh, nice swimming hole or fishing hole. Climbing up this fire road about three and a quarter miles up. We start hitting the obsidian campground where it's pine trees and aspen trees. A nice creek. Some fee information. Way up here I had a Red Bull so we're gonna make a pit stop. We're hitting some single track. It's so rocky here so I can do a little film. But I missed, this is the stuff I missed. Riding in the dark. It's a nice little hike a bike section that everybody loves. Just nice pockets of pine and aspen trees. Right. Got to catch my breath. Checking out this beautiful view. Got a little cedar forest section. I gotta hike up this. Just another high Sierra view. I'm pretty happy that I decided to repeat this section because the views are spectacular. The soil is a little soft. My tires are kind of wide. It's amazing. Town is so busy right now, but I'm finding solitude out here. I haven't seen anybody out here, which is wonderful. There's a vulture up high. He's got his eye on me. This actually seems like a nice place to enjoy a little break. Have some food, some gourmet fruit roll-ups, because my Garmin told me to eat. Here you gotta trust the track, because you go through a faint old Jeep trail, and you get to look back at the peak if you done. Whee! I'm a little exhausted now. Did some big climbing and a lot of hiking in a short segment, probably about three or four miles. Now I got this nice flowy long downhill. It doesn't look like it gets used very often. Some more of this trail. It just looks like it never gets used. It's amazing. Here's some more of this trail. Some more of this cool trail. Some Peru. Looks like a flare for a new bear scratch right here. So now we've got a nice little more tech version. That's a cool view of the valley. Pretty neat rock formation. Some of it looks like Devil's Pose Pile almost. But that little downhill single track is a highlight of this section for me. Now I've come out to this Jeep trail. Um, I'm not sure exactly where I'm at yet, but I'll just follow the line. Well, I just got spit out to the 395. If I was doing the Caldera, I keep going south, but I'm just doing a loop, so I gotta hop on the highway and get back on my car. Well, I just got spit out to the 395. 
if I was doing the caldera, I keep going south. But I'm just doing a loop, so I gotta hop on the highway and get back on my car. So here's the hot spring. It's kind of private, but there is a little pool over there. So there's the hot spring pool. It's never been warm when I've tried when I've gotten in it. But it's probably nice for the summer. Some little fishies. Ooh, it's pretty nice right now, actually. Man. I want to go, but I also want to get to the brewery. All right, well, I'm pulling up to Little Walker River where my car is parked. Yay, first complete. I'll tell you what, if you ain't got cow poo on your bike, then the Sierras, you're doing it wrong.